inscribed on that wall. In fact, it said that one and out of every five American families can trace their ancestry through Ellis Island. Many of those people that pass through uh, either trying to leave behind their identities from their country of origin and wanting to acclimate to American culture, willingly change their names. Some of them on accident. The story that goes, processing agent asked the person that came from Germany, what is your name? And in this confusion, the person in German responded, uh, Sean Vergessen, right? Which means I forget in German. And the processing agent responded with, Oh, Sean Ferguson, welcome to the United States. Now, the first immigrant is 305 miles long, 506 kilometers. It goes all the way up to the state capital, which is Albany, New York. And uh, actually, in about another month or so, it's going to be really nice to take a boat ride up the Hudson, see the changing of the leaves, something I highly recommend. If you happen to come back over the fall at some point. We're focusing our attention on the New York side of the Hudson. This area in lower Manhattan I find pretty fascinating. It's called Battery Park City. Yeah, that's where the Twin Towers were. And it's now where the reflective pools are located that were designed for the area to drown out the chaos of the city, thus creating a tranquil, serene environment to remember 2,983 lives that were lost on September 11, 2001. And well, if you did have plans to visit the World Trade Center, the next stop, Battery Park, is the closest stop we have in proximity to the area. It's a fairly direct walk, and walking would be the best way to get there. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to exit the boat. Once you make a left, that is going to lead you towards West Street, which is essentially just on the other side of the